Hi everyone, it's Carolyn Roach. I just wanted to share a little a project with you that I've done. Um, this is um, a little Christmas pin and it's done using uh, the media line from uh, Fluid Acrylics from DecoArt. This one, I don't know if you can see, has glossy on his little hat. Uh, I put some glitter here and all of this color, this beautiful blues and turquoise is all done with the media paints and uh, I'm going to show you real quick how I did these. These are, I know you'll recognize this from Home Depot, Lowe's, those kind of places. These are um, for mica tags that you can get samples in the store. Now don't go crazy because they might get a little suspicious of you. This is decoupaged paper with, I gotta turn it because I got this set up and I can't move it. This is decoupage matte. So I use that and some nice, I just decoupage some nice um, sketching paper that comes in a pad. Uh, you could use anything. You could even use a cute little, uh, you know, Christmas fall background. Anyway, so decoupage it on there. I don't cut it to fit, and then I just, if you just barely cut it, and then after it dries, you just take a memory board and, and just rake that off around the edges, and it gives you this nice, really nice edge. So then the next thing I did on those was I take a rubber stamp and any color paint. That looks like it may be even soft black. And I use one of these lovely little sponges, and I tap, tap, tap really pretty quickly, and not too thick, and you just rubber stamp on there. So then the next thing you're going to do is um, get your paint ready. And I use like some of the blues and turquoises from the Media Fluid Acrylics. And I just usually, this is where I get my paint. After I shake it, I don't pour it out because it takes such a small amount. These are so pigmented. So I just dip my brush right in there like that go to my palette and get a really thin fluid consistency and I just come over here and I start just tap tap tapping that in just squiggly and crazy and you just keep doing that and now this one is is pretty far along so we're gonna take um, maybe this uh, phthalo turquoise it's a beautiful color and we're gonna just do the same thing we're gonna get us a little liner brush and some some water and just get us a little paint right there go to our palettes now it's nice and dark, so you're going to see this pretty, pretty color that it makes. And you start doing a little, I don't, I don't necessarily stay in all the lines. I don't mind it, that it's kind of this way and that. Um, and if you want it, you can add some more deepness over here. Just make it dark, uh, you know, behind him a little bit. And add color wherever you want. Now after that's dry, oh, I forgot to tell you, before you do all that, you'll put one more thin coat of matte decoupage on here so that it doesn't just grab your, otherwise that paper's just going to grab your, your paint too much. And if you just put a little bit on there, it'll work. Then the next thing I did to get the effect of this one, uh oh, sorry, this one here, is I just started dropping some of the white on top so it looks kind of just like snow or you know motley effect and see how what a nice effect and some of that blue shows through so you'll just keep doing that a little bit and along and of course his little hat is just colored in with the red and I used um, uh, I thought it was primary red but it says pyro red but you could use any red and now this one right here is done with acrylic paint a deco art acrylic so you can get the same effect and I added a little cheeky pink on him so because I like pink I like you know me and you just kind of dab it on see and it you just want it shaded and you don't want smooth at all you just want it like this so anyway after all that's dry then I, I uh, painted it with some high gloss decoupage uh, deco art um, varnish and while it was nice and wet I put the the big flakes of uh, glitter in there and after that was dry then I added the uh, glossy effects 
anyway oh and I did add some like just a little spongy around the edge of soft black or whatever color you stamp with it just gave it a nice look and see I did it on this one as well you can see this one good because there's no varnish on this one okay so I hope y'all enjoy and uh, I've helped you out with your Christmas decorating